Hey, David Kraft here with Remax, and I wanted to talk to you today about one of the very important parts of our process of selling a home, and that's appraisals. Appraisals are very important and also a very tricky part of our process. So here's my example. We've got a seller and the seller wants to sell their home and they're excited about selling their home. They're moving on to a larger home. They're moving on to a smaller home. They're moving out of state, whatever they want to do. And we have a buyer that comes along and the buyer says, ah, oh, I love your house, love your price. Hey, we agree on a price and we say that's the amount that we want to pay for the house. And everybody's happy. And so the only problem is, is that the buyer doesn't have enough cash to purchase the entire house cash. So he goes out and he gets a mortgage lender and that mortgage lender says, Hey, I will, I will fund the rest of it for a fee and a fair fee and I will fund the rest of it. But you know what? I'm not sure about that value. I want to make sure I'm not upside down. In other words, that I don't uh, overpay for this house. And so the mortgage lender will hire the appraiser and the appraiser is a neutral independent third party that comes in and values the home. Well, the appraiser himself has to get three other houses, at least three, often more than that, that um, he can use as comps to support the value of this house. Now, one of the keys in this whole process is that he will have to find three, at least three other houses that had mortgages on them. Why do they have to have mortgages? Well, they have to have mortgages because if they have mortgages, they each have three houses that support the value. So really, on the sale of any house, we have at least 12 houses that are going to back up the value of that house. Now, we could go farther and say each one of these had three, then each one of these had three, but we're not going to do that because that would get a little crazy. So let's just stick to the 12 houses that we have that are backing up the sale of this one house. The downside is this data could be six months old. And this data right here could be 12 months old. So in a market that's going up like this, if this is the point that we're at, this is six months, this is 12 months, the appraisal can come in low and we have to be careful. The opposite is true in a market that's declining. However, appraisers seem to recognize a decline much easier than they recognize an incline. So one of the things that we do is we try to make sure every house appraises. We don't want to get to this point where we've got a seller and a buyer that's agreed. We've got a mortgage letter that has qualified the buyer. He's ready to go and then the house doesn't appraise. And we've had it happen before. So we put together a packet often of information for the appraiser. We'll put together comps that we want him to use and see. We'll put together a list of upgrades and we'll put together data that says, hey, this house is worth the numbers that they're paying for it. If you don't do these things and be proactive with them, you're risking the entire transaction based on this person that might have woken up in a good mood or might not have woken up in a good mood. And we don't want to do that. So if you have any questions about appraisals, any questions about the whole buying selling process, hey, feel free to put a comment below or feel free to give us a call. We're here to help. Have a good day.